Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA. It's Monday morning. Did you cross the, uh, did you cross the budget bill? <laughs> wow, so we finally have a deal. We finally have a second stimulus check deal, which means that four people agree to it. <laughs> Doesn't mean that anyone else agree to it. Over the next two days, Monday and Tuesday, we're going to see what's going to unfold, whether the deal provisions will get molded, changed, thrown in the corner, vetoed, overridden, and well. In this video, I'm going to go over all the deal provisions, and they're shocking because there's some incredibly great, out of nowhere, no one saw these coming deal provisions in the second stimulus package. They weren't linked to press, never saw the coming, and my jaw dropped when I saw some of them. In a provision, in a deal that has things that are very quite bad, like a bad stimulus check amount, no FPUC retroactive, suddenly we're being hit with some really great news. And in this video, I'll be going over that great news and more. And let's get going on a great early morning's LA Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning's LLA. Sunday was such a crazy day. I mean, 11 videos on this channel, 350,000 subscribers we reached for the first time. It's a YouTube record. No one has ever reached 350,000 subscribers in such a short period of time. We're reaching our eight month anniversary uh, on Christmas Eve. And we also got shocked by a series of deal provisions released in the second summer's package, which we did not know were in there. We never heard them even part of the negotiations, and they're great. They are great, so please subscribe. Please subscribe, because throughout the day I'm going live, I'm going tape. Yesterday I was updating you literally every 15 minutes when something hit, and I would go live no less than three times consecutively because there's so much to cover. I want to ensure that you don't miss a video, and the purpose of subscribing is that you are getting an alert when a new video happens, and there's breaking details across the board. Don't want you to be last to get the money. I don't want you to be last to get the application on file. So go to the first channel, subscribe. Also, hit the alert, that little bell button, so you can learn when a new video goes live or I go live. Meantime, I like this video. It really helps in the algorithm rankings. In this video, I'll be going over the deal provisions and how they are just so shocking. Uh, and also go over the language because you're gonna be surprised. Some of the language you had been warned about is not there yet. Now, I'm not holding the bill, I'm holding a memo about the bill and we will see the bill potentially today. If you don't notice over there, it's an instant premiere. An instant premiere allows you to chat with your our buddies and interact and, and talk about what you think with these provisions. Yesterday was a lot of fun. There was no less than, I think, five live videos on this channel. Uh, and it shows, shows an incredible community. People are looking and for people saying, hey, do you see that person? Do you see them? I don't see them. <laughs> I see LA Light. I just don't see them. So that's the spirit of this channel. It's an instant premiere for each and every day at 6 a.m. It's continued at the 6.30 show, which follows after this. Don't miss the 630 show. I have big updates that on that as well. And then also join me at 830 for morning to LA as well. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is that the second stimulus package provisions shocked me to no end. My jaw dropped because I knew we were going to have bad provisions, but I didn't know we were going to have good provisions. I thought we were just going to be slapped left to the right when we saw this and we were just going to hate it across the board. Oh no, there's some incredibly great stuff we didn't anticipate. Let's first go over the bad stuff first. The bad stuff is what we anticipated, but some of the bad stuff is not delineated yet so far. What? Let me go over this. First, the stimulus check. The amount, yeah, bad, $600, it's bad. Adults, $600, yeah, bad. F children, $600, yeah, bad. Why are children getting the same as adults? Well, how about adult dependents? Uh, don't know. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know? Don't know, what, what do you mean you don't know? Did you ask Sir Lloyd? He knows, no, I don't know. Uh, let me read Chuck Schumer's statement. He, is, he and Nancy Pelosi issued a joint statement. He also repeated it on the congressional floor on Sunday. And this is what he said about the stimulus check. 
It's one sentence. <laughs> We're legislators. We take a while to write. Well, this is just one sentence. <laughs> Democrats secured a new round of direct payments worth up to $600 per adult and child, also ensuring that mixed family status received payments. Done. Uh, okay. What happened to the adult dependent controversy? I just... I don't hear it. Uh, let me explain what's going on. <laughs> this is why rumors are very scary, because you never know if the rumor's true or false. On Saturday or Sunday, I think it was Saturday night, uh, a rumor surfaced in the Washington Post. No, it was Sunday. Certainly Sunday morning, because I went live as soon as the rumor hit, of course. Uh, the, a rumor surfaced in the Washington Post that adult dependents are not getting a stimulus check. The rumor suddenly became mainstream news as though it was fact, not rumor anymore. It suddenly went from rumor to fact. Then everyone was repeated like, I, it has been determined that, the bill has been passed that, it has become a law. <laughs> that, that, no, it's a rumor. But we all believe the rumor. And that what became scary is we all believe the rumor and we were left at the rumor. Now, the rumor may be right. I mean, the rumor may be true. But so far, it's a rumor. And I don't mean... I don't mean Willis. It's, it's a rumor. Uh, it, which, where we are today is we don't know if it if it manifests itself in the final deal. So are adult dependents getting a stimulus check? And how about that other issue that's unclear? The number of people in the household. We had heard another rumor. There's an unlimited number of children. When I heard it, I thought, I've never heard that to be the case. I've never heard it anywhere in the negotiations that it was just, you know, you could have 15, you could have, you know, the entire Brady Bunch family times five and they all get a stimulus check. I've never heard of that any of these, anywhere in these negotiations. There's always been three kids or five kids or, uh, you know, there's always been a little bit of how many times you procreated. Uh, but this rumor said, no, you could have procreated, you know, 55 kids. You're all going to get a stimulus check. Okay, uh, did not appear in this either. So that was the surprisingly bad news that we don't know if it was bad rumor gone or if it's still there, they just don't want to tell us. <laughs> yeah, the other bad news was the FPC retroactive. Now, the, the maybe not so bad news is we don't know if Joe Biden, how Joe Biden's going to deal with the situation. Joe Biden says he's going to give you FPC retroactive in the third stimulus package, which you're going to hear me say that words a lot now, third stimulus package. That's the Biden stimulus package. That's January. That's less than four weeks from now. You're going to have this stimulus, the second stimulus package. You're going to have state stimulus, which I've been doing for two weeks, and you have Biden stimulus in January. The Biden stimulus proposes to give you FPC retroactive back to July $600 a week and going forward to $600 a week. Yeah, I know the two periods go over, go on top of each other now. This one here is $300 a week FPC, and Biden's stimulus going forward is also $600 a week. So how is he going to do it? I assume he's going to have to revise this. He's going to have to revise this bill and switch the bill. He's going to have to piss, pass a bill to revise this to say, no, now it's $600. It was $300. We're revising and paying you more. They can do it. It's not complicated. He just hasn't said he's going to do it. He just said, I'm going to do the same period, which just makes it all sound so crazy. Um, and that's where we were going into seeing the deal memo, the, the deal. And then here came this thing from Chuck. And I started reading and I'm like, oh. <laughs> in the kitchen with the, with the, uh, in the kitchen with uh, Dr. Peacock. What? <laughs> that's how I felt. First, rent stimulus is in here. You're going to get rent stimulus. Second, you're going to get an eviction moratorium. Third, you're going to get SAP. Fourth, you're going to get an EIDL grant. Fifth, you're going to get child care. <sighs> wow, I didn't hear any of this in the negotiations. I didn't hear this when, you know, John Ron Johnson was like, I wish I was Don Johnson, but I'm Ron Johnson. It's like, you know, I know America hates me. Why couldn't I be Don Johnson? Um, this was all shocking. So let me go over the shockingly great provisions in here. Let's start with the top of the st of the of the memo, uh, the statement from Chuck Schumer. He says that there's going to be Democrats have secured uh, for, for first small business. This is the EIDL part. Democrats secured critical funding and policy changes to help small businesses, including minority-owned businesses, 
and nonprofits recovered from this pandemic. This includes $284 billion for first and second forgivable PPP loans, expanding eligibility for nonprofits and local newspapers, TV and radio broadcasters, key modifications to serve the small businesses and struggling nonprofits, and better assist independent restaurants, and include $15 billion for live venues, independent movie theaters, and cultural institutions. This agreement also includes $20 billion for targeted EIDL grants. That's a lot of great stuff in there. So let me go over each of them one at a time. Let's go over the last one. EIDL grant. You, If you saw me on Twitter, I literally just twice, tweeted like 20 times in a row. EIDL grants is back. EIDL grants is back. I was just shocked. Shocked, 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 shocked. Shocked. Just floored. Now, which EIDL grant back and how is it back? And uh, all my OG viewers just sort of swarmed into the, one of the live chats last night. So this is my take on what's probably going to happen. The third stimulus, Biden stimulus, third stimulus is going to give you EIDL grants in a way in which it cleans up the mess that Javita Carranza did. Javita Carranza is gone as soon as Biden comes in. She's a she's a Republican nominee. Biden will put a Democratic nominee in, a Democratic uh, appointee in for SBA head. And that SBA head, presumably under Biden, will pay the remainder of your $10,000 grant. That's where the remainder of your $10,000 grant will get fixed under Biden. Um, Will you get the remaining ten thousand dollar grant between now and mid January? No, absolutely not. Javita's around. <laughs> Javita's locked the door. She's not gonna let you do that. Now, so what is this EIDL for now? This is presumably, and I'm ninety nine percent guessing this is what it is. This is EIDL for grant applicants who applied before on this channel, never got paid the EIDL grant, um, and have and were told the system ran out of money. Or people who recently have been new viewers of this channel got the EIDL loan, but there was no grant option on that they would get the grant as well. So I have countless millions of viewers from May who got their grant application on file before the application window closed. They didn't get a penny, and they they and they got a letter that said, "Sorry, we ran out of money." You are the people who would get the grant now, and then also people who got the loans just recently, you would get the grant as well. How do you do it? Do you have to reapply? I don't, all these nuances are going to, uh, there's a reason why I'm here. I'm going to be crushing the videos about how to do the new EIDL in the next few weeks. So in the meantime, watch my retro videos on EIDL, which I think are going to have a lot of relevance to uh, helping you get that money. I'm doing a retro EIDL video every day now on in the mornings of this channel. Next. That big PPP provision is great, and that live venue provision is great. There's going to be live venue money, which is bars, uh, nightclubs. You have a lot of them never got anything, and then a lot of nonprofits never got pennies. I tried to help them a lot, and we had a lot of problems. And then uh, minority-owned businesses were locked out the first time around. Next, rental assistance. Oh my God, Two, this was a shocker. Rent money is going to be paid by the federal government. Um, $25 billion in critically needed rental assistance for families struggling to stay in their homes and extension of the eviction moratorium. Yeah, you heard the second part of that sentence. There's going to be an eviction moratorium. You heard me shouting this loud and clear for months on end, every single day, every single hour. Where's the eviction moratorium, Trump? We need one. He did one, finally, after he tried it, then he didn't get it right, then he had CDC come in, then I told you it was expiring. I said they have to put an eviction moratorium in there. They did. Um, and then rent. Um, the eviction moratorium, I want to talk about just briefly. The eviction moratorium will operate presumably this way. The moment this becomes law, which could be on Wednesday, bam, bam, that, that exact minute you cannot be evicted. I don't care where you are in the process, you cannot be evicted. So be on high alert. You still go to the front channel, subscribe, make sure you hit the alert button. Because the day this becomes law, that is probably the day the landlord's attempt to evict you stops in its feet. Um, the rent assistance is very exciting. It's going to take a while to get that funded and get that going out. I will be here doing the rent videos. Imagine all the rent videos I did on this channel for months. Uh, they're all going to come back. Um, boy. It's just, it's like everything that I used to do is coming back on this channel, rent and EIDL, PPP, the, all the old videos. It's just, <laughs> where am I going to fit them on the time schedule? I got 11 videos yesterday. Uh, housing credit, a low income housing credit, um, LHTC, 
Um, then there is an, a very fascinating one, an earned income tax credit and child tax credit. So if you had a loss of income in 2019, reduced income, unemployed, or anything like that, they're going to give you a tax Write off in your next tax return to to offset the burden that you had. Paid sick leave also knew this was great. Just surprising. This would help people who uh, get COVID positive. Uh, then employee retention. Then um, SNAP. Did I say SAP at the beginning? I meant SNAP. Democrats secured 13 billion increased SNAP and child nutrition benefits to relieve the historic hunger crisis. Then child care, $82 billion for college and schools and $10 billion for child care. The return of the PELPS grant, 500 new recipients, ensuring 1.5 million new students. Broadband access, free broadband, $7 billion to increase access to broadband, climate crisis, and more. You see, suddenly we went from a very bad stimulus check coverage and a bad lack of FPC retroactive, which presumably Joe's going to fix, to suddenly we have some really sort of really exciting, great stuff in here. The good news is that Nancy Pelosi late yesterday said what I ho wanted her to say, which is, we got this. Okay, we're starting right on third stimulus. Now, Nance, please go write the bill. Go write it now. Don't wait till January to write it. Start writing it now. Sh uh, Joe Biden has made clear that he's going to have that third stimulus package ready on day one. I should hope. I should hope we're not going to drag this into February. That's done on day one. In the video right after this, I'm going to go over really what is covered in here, what's covered in the third stimulus, where are different items coming to you, how you can qualify for a lot of the same items at, 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 at different items at different times. Very fascinating. You've got to tune in at that 630. As always, stand for them, stay smiling, stay in my life for more.